This is Fergus Hodgson with my second review as part of my marathon training. And uh, one important ingredient I have decided on going by my readings of Michael Colgan's uh, work on nutrition and sports performance is clean water as part of my nutritional plan. And uh, how do we get clean water? There are various filter options. The best option around is distilling. If you want actual purity, right? Nature's own purification process. So today I will be reviewing the Mini Classic CT Water Distiller. Mini Classic CT Water Distiller by Pure Water. And I have had this for about two weeks. So enough time to get a sense for how it functions and its taste, its clarity, what have you. So first, let's do a test. So I also have a TDS meter or a total dissolved sol solids meter. And so I'll test the purified water from this pure water distiller versus water that I got just from the sink right here, the town tap water here in Lehigh, Utah. Now, so these, cost, these uh, TDS meters cost about $15, really cheap. They don't tell you what is in the water. They just tell you how, mu how much is there. So I will test it out and see what we get. So right now, we're getting about 188. I'm not sure whether you can see that on there, but about 188. So about 200 is normal for town water. Okay. So 200 is normal. Now let me pour some water just distilled, right? So I guess a few hours ago, this was distilled. And now let me pour it into the, into the glass and see what we get, okay? Now, the, whatever's in there likely has some ingredients just from the glass itself, to be frank, but okay, let's go. Okay, so we have right now one. So I'm not sure where that can, that's come out clearly, but so we went from 188 in the tap water, total dissolved solids, to one part per million, as far as I know. So you get about, like I said, 99.5% purity. So very, very uh, pure water that comes out of this baby. Now, so let's, let's just assess. So the pros include absolutely pure water. There's no doubt about that. The, now, let's keep in mind, this, this machine costs about $600 versus a lot of others. You can even go to Walmart and get some for, I think, $150 or about $250 for the better, smaller, more, let's say, just cheaper options that are of decent quality. And I'll put a link to a cheaper version that's around $250, $260 for those who want to consider other options. But so what's, what are the benefits of this one that is more expensive? First, like I said, absolutely pristine purity. There's no doubt about that. It is obviously a sturdy and durable item. You buy this one because it is basically a decades-long machine or machine that will last for decades if you take care of it. So it's, it's, it's a sturdy, durable construction. And it also has very convenient use. You just take, take this uh, out, fill it up, put it back in. You don't have to remove the whole machine when you fill it up or remove the water. There, there's basically an insertion point and an and a extraction point, and it's very easy to use in that regard. So, but what are the cons? What are the challenges or concerns with this one? Obviously, the cost, like I said, it's about two or three times the cost of others. So you, you have to keep that in mind. It is large. It, is, it takes up some space, right? It, it takes up space in your kitchen. It does make some noise. I'm not so such a brilliant video editor right now, but at the end, I'll put a little clip of the sound it makes when it's working, okay? And then also, it's not that much production. So you get about two thirds, maybe three quarters of a gallon each time for each three or four hours. And if you're an athlete, training a lot, you're going to consume all that and maybe even more. I'll, I'll consume that whole thing in a day and, and maybe even a little bit more. So 
I have to run it at least once per day. It's, even though it's got a large size, it doesn't produce that much. And then the finally, actually, it's not that easy to clean. You don't have to clean it often, maybe once every month or so, but you have to actually put vinegar in here or some, some acid to clean it out and you can't scrub it in the way that you might scrub other distillers that are more open in their design. This one is more of a closed design. You can't really get in there easily. You need to use uh, a, a, some sort of acid to, to get it clean. So my, con you know, my, con my, my conclusion here is that this distiller does, does do excellent cleaning, but it's not the right one for everyone. If you're an athlete, you might even want one that produces more, bigger, uh, bigger size. Also, it is more expensive, and you've got to weigh up the costs there, whether you think it's worth 600 bucks and whether you're even willing to pay that much for clean water. Okay, so if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, just at Ferg Running. Thanks for watching. This would just give a sense for the noise. It's a little, there's a little bit of noise, but not so much. It's very gentle.